Hello everyone, in this video let us solve this question. So we have root t plus t is equal to 2. And here, let us solve for all the possible values of t that will satisfy this given equation. So t is the unknown that we have to solve for. Now to solve this solution, solution, the question is root t plus t is equal to 2. So, first, we are going to make root t the subject of the formula. So, to do so, we are going to move plus t over to this side. So, this becomes root t is equal to 2 then minus t. Now, with this, we have made root t to stand alone. So, then, we are then going to eliminate the square root. And to do so, we are going to square the both sides of the equation. So, in brackets, square root t all squared is equal to in brackets 2 minus t all squared from here square cancel square root t stands alone is equal to in bracket 2 minus t all squared now from here we can write this as t is equal to in bracket 2 minus t multiplied by 2 minus t because it is all squared so in two places so with this t is equal to we are going to open the bracket 2 times 2, 4, 2 times minus t, minus 2t, minus t times 2, minus 2t, minus t times minus t, plus t squared. So, next, the value for t is then equal to, we have 4, minus 2t minus 2t is equal to minus 4t, then plus t squared. So, from here, we are going to move this t right here. To this side of the equation such that here becomes 0 is equal to here we have 4 minus 4t plus t squared then moving plus t over to this side it becomes minus t so with this 0 is equal to 4 now minus 4t minus t is equal to minus 5t then we have plus t squared so then we are then going to rearrange this equation so that t squared comes first, so t squared, then minus 5t, then plus 4, is all equal to 0. So with this, what we have is a quadratic equation. And to solve for the value of t, we are going to make it of the quadratic formula. The formula is given by, with respect to t, t is equal to minus b, plus or minus square root, b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a. And in this case, the value of a is the coefficient of t squared, which is 1. The value of b is the coefficient of t, which is minus 5. While the value of c is the constant, which is plus 4, so 4. So in putting the values of a, b, c into the formula, t is then equal to minus, b is minus 5, so in bracket minus 5, plus or minus square root b squared, b is minus 5, so minus 5 all squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 4, okay? Then all over 2 times a is 1. So from here, the value of t, t is then equal to minus times minus 5 is plus 5, plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared is 25, then minus 4 times 1, 4 times 4 is 16. All over 2 times 1 is 2. So with this, the value for t is then equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 16 is equal to 9 all over 2. So the value for t is then equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 9 is 3 all over 2. So from here, the first value of t, t1, is equal to 5 plus 3 over 2, or t2 is equal to 5 minus 3 over 2. So with this, solving this, t1 is equal to 5 plus 3 is 8 over 2, or 5 minus 3 is 2 over 2. So t1 is equal to 8 over 2 is 4, or t2 is equal to 2 over 2 is 1. Now, I've gotten the values, the solutions for t, t1, 
one is four, y t two is equal to one. So with this, let us then check which of these solutions of t is, is the correct solution. So let us check from here. The question is root t plus t is equal to two. So check. The question is root t plus t is equal to 2. And the first solution for t, t1 is equal to 4, y t2 is equal to 1. So then, in putting the value of t1 as 4 into the equation, so root t becomes 4, then plus t is 4, with this equal to question mark. So from here, right, root 4 is 2 plus 4, with this equal to question mark. 2 plus 4 is 6, and this is not equal to 2. So that means that the solution of T1 as 4 is not the correct solution for the given question. So then, let us then test the other solution, which is T2 equals to 1. So in putting the value of T as 1 into the question, the question is root t plus t is equal to 2. So then t, t2 is equal to 1. Then root t is 1 plus t is 1 with this equal to question mark. From here, root 1 is 1 plus 1 with this equal to question mark. 1 plus 1 is 2 and this is equal to 2. So with this, this means that the solution of t2, which is 1, is the correct solution. So therefore, for the question root t plus t is equal to 2, we have only one solution for the value of t, and the solution is equal to 1. So with this, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.